Welcome everybody to another episode of Books and Betches. Not to be confused with books and other betches. <laughs> Stolen. <laughs> I'm Kristen and with Maria me I have <laughs> and Maria. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you're new here, no! that's Erica and that's Maria. You can't see. You can't but even you, see. But if you I, go to our YouTube. I have stolen Maria's identity. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's okay. So. I don't need it. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> Full transparency. We did a test in the beginning and uh, Erica was looking at baby shoes. So she wasn't paying attention. Like so usual. Maria stepped in and did the books and betches. Um, I don't know, slogan and, and like said, opening. she said she other little, betches. She did it. It was funny. And Erica stole it. So that's where we're at. Um, this is a book podcast. We're triple S. Oh, is it? You say this every fucking time. <laughs> We swear, we spoil, we talk about sex. Uh, we're going to spoil this book, and there's lots of twisty turnies. Uh, it's a book that twisty you probably want to go read before it gets spoiled for you. Mm-hmm. You should go read it. Yeah. Twisty turny. So the book we're talking about is Verity by the Hoover. <laughs> the Hoover Dam? The Hoover Dam. By Colleen Hoover, yes. <sighs> By Colleen Hoover, who's taking over TikTok. Has been taking over book talk. I What's, feel like she's constantly in it. I don't know if it's it. taking over book talk as but much. But she's as always in top of conversation. She's a, she's a best-selling author. No, she's everywhere, though. Like I feel like she's a best-selling author. I get it. I do. But not every best-selling author, it, author is I, on. Not every best-selling author. Is all over book talk. But she is, dude. She's everywhere. Am I wrong? Yeah. You're not wrong. People love Colleen Hoover. It's It's misplaced. <laughs> Okay, hot take coming in hot on a I Sunday morning. I have not heard of Colleen Hoover until I joined Boostagram. Bookstagram. <laughs> Boostagram. Until I joined Bookstagram, I did not hear about <laughs> Colleen Hoover. The it- Boostagram. <laughs> Why did I think Count Dracula for that? <laughs> oh, I can't. <sighs> I'm too tired for this today. <laughs> <laughs> I think what I the- peed a little. <laughs> what? What? I don't know why that was so funny. Because it wasn't. It's funny because it wasn't funny. And I peed a little. What? Okay, well, okay, don't okay, okay. to my fucking life. Okay. 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 But you're pregnant. You have a reason. I know. But that was just so much more funny than it should have been. Okay, on Bookstagram, I didn't even hear what you were saying. Maria. No one ever does. No one ever listens to what I'm saying. Okay, when I first joined Bookstagram is when I first heard about Colleen Hoover. Oh. And everyone was always, like, posting her books. It, it ends with us as one of the ones I, I see the most. Oh. Um, one of my first friends on Bookstagram was like, you have to read it. And I bought it. It's still shitting on my sh- shitting on myself. <laughs> it's still sh- sitting on my shelf, and I have not Which picked one? it up. It ends with us. Oh, I read it. Um, but I have read uh, it, Ugly Love. I did read Ugly and Love, and now too. the one we are covering today, which is Kristen Verity. Verity, you <laughs> so, did it. Good job. Are they all like dark romances? I have no, no, fucking no. Idea. This is her first one that was like dark. No, but I have no idea. Like all of these are fucked up. Yeah, I've read three of Colleen Hoover's books. Verity, it ends with us, and now Ugly Love. All three of these are are tough. Are are fucking like what the <laughs> fuck dark, am I right? reading? They're not dark. They're, they're not just dark. like they're just fucked. Sad. Like Ugly Love was this guy, a pilot, who I think he crashed his car and killed his wife and baby, oh, man. and then like basically no, like no 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 yeah he didn't kill his wife and baby. The, the car crashed. St- the woman's still alive. Oh, the you're right. Baby you're right, you're died. Right. The baby died. The baby died. It's sadder. What the fuck? And the he baby blamed died, himself, right. and that's why he just never wanted to love again. So they're all like kind of sad, but one of them is kind and of is a d- memoir of her life, and I don't want to like one of the books that she wrote is like one of her memoirs of life. So I don't want to like Which talk one? too much trash. Where'd you know, hear that from? Uh, it's definitely not a YouTuber who was talking about it. If oh. it's if it's it ends with us, then like I feel really bad because that one's just like about her abuse. falling in love with an abuser, and then like it might it might be. Uh, I don't know. I don't like that, that one's that one's rough. Let me, um, let me look it up. But it's these these books are all very popular. It ends with us. Like people who are listening right now might actually really love that, that book. One. I always say for this one particularly, it just isn't my cup of tea. That's fair, right? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I feel the same way about Verity, where it's just this isn't my cup of tea. I got excited same. for Verity because it was different. It was more of a rom- <laughs> suspenseful romance, right? So I had not dived into that genre yet. And I was like, ooh, this sounds so cool. Like, there's a murder mystery to it kind of sense. And with a little bit of love, I, I'm excited to see how it goes. 
uh, I was very disappointed in this book. <laughs> yeah, it, honestly, for me, I know a lot of people love it and a lot of people love Colleen Hoover. So I do want to say at the top of here, if we do end up like talking some shit on the book, because there are things that I really loved. There's things that I really hated. Um, it, it, it means nothing in the grand sc- scheme of things like people fucking love her and we're not shitting on. She's that. still a best selling okay? author whether we like her or not. Yeah, <laughs> it, th- these are just our opinions. This is just how we personally feel. Moving on from that. Um, well, th- all three of the books that I have read. Yeah all had a similar style in which they were told which was present yep and past and past yes. Yeah. yes and i fucking hate it yeah i hated it in ugly love and i hated it especially in ugly love because it was like poem style mm-hmm. so yeah. it was like slam poetry style yeah. really weird and i like literally sk- I uh, skimmed did them. you read it physically yeah i listened to ugly love which made it different for me so i thought that that i like that ugly book, love i, I did okay not with it. i was okay with the parts that wasn't the poetry parts so I, I didn't mind i, I liked past i liked how different part. it felt between the chapters you know so i just then, didn't like, like it ends was. with us it was parsed with fucking weird ass letters to ellen Degenerous, which is bizarre in that's its own weird. right. But then this yeah, Verity that's also, one. That's, that's what was based on her real life. Verity, I yeah. don't I don't dislike the back and forth of because I think the story was too boring. Yeah. Like in general. I think her story of our main character, Lowen, is her name, right? Yeah. Is not her main story lame. doesn't matter. It's Verity's as does. Yeah. So we'll get let's get uh we'll do a sixty second, but Ooh, I will who's, who's doing do it? it? It cannot be me. Fuck you guys. Let, I didn't read let, it this time. Actually, it's got to be Erica. Let me trash it. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, the way that I looked at this is it felt like a Lifetime movie. Yeah. Met almost like meeting like a Hallmark movie in some parts of it meets like, I don't know, like, but mostly Lifetime is like what I was snap, gathering. Like a snap. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> yes. If you combine all three of those things. A Lifetime like, movie plus a female serial killer. Yes. Yeah. Probably like one this, of those like yeah. oh, women who kill. Yeah. 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 I had yeah. so many ideas for how this book could end and so many twisty turnies that I personally think were way cooler than what it ended up being. Um, but we'll get into all Which of I that. I feel like that's the best part about thrillers is that is you're 100%. trying to figure out what is the problem. And then yes. when you have that underwhelming twist it's like eh. had i known this book wasn't a thriller like if i went in thinking it was a romance book i would have like taken it at face value and not have known that a twist was coming and maybe it would have been more exciting for me that it got darker but like going into it already knowing like okay she writes darker books this is going to have a twist this is going to be creepy i think it would have like been a better ride for this me. is one of her first sets like this oh i the just rest hate, of them are all like yeah. romance but with heavier t- hitting topics on uh, them oh, oh, oh. I you just know hate, like, there's this things. one and then there's i believe layla which is uh her first paranormal romance oh. i think it involves a ghost of some sort cool but i have not read that one but so. a lot of them have like abuse and shit in them right i guess yeah. if we if we take the average okay of all of it i think they all have some kind of abusive tendency in it so trigger warning to that um, i also you know what trigger warning to like what the fuck <laughs> is going on with this like doesn't sound like a trigger warning, but I'm pregnancy oh, okay. related yeah. craziness. Yeah, I think when you I pregnant. texted you <laughs> and I was like, dude, I don't know how you're going to read some of this. Some of it was brutal. Let's do the 60 seconds so we could talk about it. Erica, you're going to do the 60 second. You said <laughs> <laughs> that's a yes. I full disclosure. I did not like, care for this book, so I did not want to reread it. Although I gave it a three. Star. When did you read it? Uh, I think August. I- I think I gave it two of 2020 I gave it a September three. of 2020 I think but the more I think about it, it's more 2.5 for me and like people I love this book right like love I guess really? Love. really I'll never understand all right Erica here we go uh if you're new to this podcast we do this thing where we attempt to explain the entire plot summary of a book in 60 seconds or less this week Erica is doing it our fave um Erica do you remember all the names Besides Verity, I forget his name. Verity, forget name. Lowen, and Lowen. John. What are you saying, Jeremy? Lowen? I did. I missed Lowen. I did not Lowen see Lowen is her Lowen. first name. Are you sure? Of the girl who's writing this book, yeah. yeah. Positive. That's what my little Jeremy, summary Jeremy, says. Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy is the guy's name. Okay. I yeah, missed. I missed Lowen for some reason. Okay. All right. Um, well, it was an I. It was in first person, so she rarely says her own name. Yeah, that's true. Here we go. Uh, in three, two, one, go. Okay, so we got the most boring bitch on this planet, Lowen, mm. who's a struggling writer who <laughs> clearly sucks at her craft. And her mom is like slowly dying and siphoning all of her money from her. So she takes this deal, which is basically like a guy who wants hit like his wife's 
work to be like continued i guess this is not the good. books to be continued i don't need like the actual what the, why she's there is f- fucking stupid so he contracts no, her not. to <laughs> write the books for his wife who's like clearly faking it and <laughs> faking what <laughs> she's sick she was faking it at the edge yeah but you haven't it. told us what she's faking <laughs> His wife got into a car accident, which sounds like he actually did himself. Ten seconds. And then, oh my god, Lowen's there for two weeks, finds a manuscript that nobody's been able to find for ten years, three and reads it. Two, one. And you're finds done. <laughs> There's a lot of discourse in there. I actually think no, fuck you. That was the worst one that you've ever done. Yeah, this book was the worst book we've read. No, even even it's the not. one where you forgot the book you read was, that was better than so this. bad. That was seriously probably the no. It was genuinely the worst one you've ever done. To be honest, this is the worst book we've read. Okay, so the reason that they uh, like end up together, the book starts, first of all, her mom already fucking died. The book starts oh, right, right, with right, right. Lowen, I guess is her name. So Lowen is... I out- don't know why she witnessed the car accident. Like, what was She's the point of She's in New York City. Okay, stop. That was the stupidest beginning to a book ever. Stop. I actually like the beginning. So Lowen is outside. She's, you know, in New York City. Um, somebody her mom, gets hit by a bus. Her mom recently or whatever died. Car. Shut the fuck up. And somebody gets hit by a car right in front of her. Oh, yeah. And she was all bloody. And she got sprayed by blood. Like, was I mean, she going through an interview or something like that? Maybe. Yeah, with Jeremy. Oh, convenient. Okay, so then <laughs> that's where she meets Jeremy, who... Um, Sessy. No, she gets drenched with blood. One, unrealistic. Two, that was even I remember even more unrealistic it. that Jeremy takes off his shirt to and give, give to, to her. her. Yeah, no, that's something I remember clearly when I read it. The fact Not that she New York, was honey. covered in blood from this uh, car accident. I was yeah. like, "You're co- you're covered in blood from a car accident? How close were you to the car? Yeah, she had to be very close. Like you'd have to be like hit, or the spray would have had to be astronomical. <laughs> like how it doesn't make sense. <laughs> you'd have how... been hit by a train and like exploded. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it it makes it the sound the logistics as if don't make sense. It makes it sound as if whoever got hit by this car literally just evaporated. Combusted, yeah. But not only that, like, from we're in New York, right? Like, we're in fucking New York City. One, nobody's offering you their shirt. Two, nobody gives a no shit. Well, she mentioned that. Three. She mentioned that. Three, you're not accepting a shirt from a stranger. Our main character. I would think it was fucking, like, contaminated with, like. Mm. Erica, our main character. Or, what is it called? Um. That, what's the shit that's like everyone's scared of that covid are not art oh. shit. um <laughs> no the what is this like powder no. what does that Cocaine. mean no powder powder that kills people arsenic oh arsenic? Oh, oh, arsenic? oh no 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 when you like uh uh anthrax anthrax what the fuck okay i don't know how you got to anthrax <laughs> i don't know how you got <laughs> by Erica. i'm saying that like Stop i talking. would not i would not Stop accept talking. a shirt from a stranger i would be like there's anthrax on it oh that's how you got to anthrax okay hear me out in, the in book? New York City, I would never fucking accept a shirt with uh, somebody else's shirt. Not to mention because they're like already got some like stinkage her. in She's the gone. armpits. <laughs> okay, so what happened was the the main <laughs> character in her mind was saying, "This is New York City. Like nobody gives a fuck about anybody. Like people move to New York City so that you can become invisible." She was amazed that Jeremy took the time to be like, "Hey, are you okay?" Because that's rare, right? And it helps that he's handsome and he's hot, and like he too went to New York City to for escape sure, people. For sure, okay. So he offers the shirt off her own back. She ends up going to this interview, and the interview turns out is with Jeremy, whose wife was in a car accident. Her name is Verity. She's a famous author. <laughs> and he says, hi, my wife cannot complete this book. Um, she read your book, and she loved it. I would really love for you to be the author to step in and finish her book series. Very straightforward. Like, I don't know why you were saying. Because why, like, why, why would you hire someone to do that? That I, I agree. I don't understand why you wouldn't just leave it. And where he was, was going to pay her like a half a million dollars for it. I know. No, I, because yeah. they, I think she was under contract to get the book finished. Uh, and then they got money I feel in like you would be able to get out of that contract. If you yeah. had a half a million dollars, I no, think you could also, get out of that but contract. Then it was a very famous book series. Even Verity loved it. Yeah. So to be called to like finish it from the manuscripts that were in the office... Um, it's a, it's an honor for her. So yeah, I feel like this would happen to George R. R. Martin. Yeah. If he doesn't finish that last Game of Thrones book, someone's gonna ghostwrite it. You think so? I don't. 
I highly believe I that someone know. would do that. They might. I mean, I mean, there might be. I fan mean, fiction. A, okay, let's put it out there. Jane Austen ha- Sandition is not completed. Nobody fucking goes with that. because that's one of the most famous romance. That's solid the most point. Fam- that's the most famous romance author on this a planet. Solid point. And Verity is like one of the best authors on the planet. Who I honestly think Verity is just Colleen Hoover. But moving on <laughs> from that point, um, so. I, Whatever they go, I, let's see wait, wait, where wait, all wait, the boring wait, wait, shit wait, wait, in this wait, wait, book. Wait. I think it is important to note that the agent, that her agent, our main character's agent, is her her ex. Why? I guess it doesn't come into play. It at literally all. doesn't matter. <laughs> so it's like another extraneous detail that matters. You're right. Absolutely nothing to the main. You're plot. right. You're right. So she moves in with Jeremy, and that I don't get to to finish in writing Vermont. this book. Well, she gets kicked out of her apartment. Oh right, right, right. Her mom died. Also, not for nothing, another portion. Like, I don't know where uh, Colleen Hoover's from, but like to get evicted in New York City is like one of the hardest things to do. Really? It yeah. Once you're like, a squatter, um, you have to bring like lawyers in. No, 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 no. it's it's like t- New York, New York State specifically is one of the hardest places to get evicted from. It is like years. Really? Yes. Wow. It Even is if not you're like not paying. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And it's years and lawyers. Well, for the sake of the book, she gets kicked out right away. I hate. <laughs> I, and Co- Corey, Romance in the Reader always gets on me because she's like, you pick out like these stupid details and blah, blah, <laughs> blah. Right. But I love like, that Corey tells make, you how it is. But make it make like make it make sense. Don't, don't make it like that if it's not like But like that. you're the only person that would pick something like she's that probably out. probably not the only person. And hone in on it. But this, the, it to me, this is lazy writing. I don't. Maybe she is from New York City, and she had a different experience. Well, she's this is fucking not real. <laughs> it's not a real experience. You're right. It's not a real. It's a book. So then she goes to Vermont, and she ends up moving in with Jeremy in this area, unknown area in Vermont. And Verity is just there. She's like bedridden. She's bedridden, right? She doesn't move. She doesn't speak. The doctors say she might never like walk, talk, and you know. But they never say what's wrong with her. No. No. Right away, I was like, okay, that's a little sketchy. They also have a son. Um, we know that they're his daughter. We only knew from the beginning that his daughter had died because he mentioned that he pulled her out of a lake. So that was a little like... Oh, wasn't it twins? Well, we didn't know the that right first away. first twin died from anaphylactic shock. Right. Yeah, but we didn't know that right away, right? We only knew about the... The most, the rec- most recent one, which yeah. was the river. So as she's living in Jeremy's and Verity's house, she's in Verity's office and she's like trying to figure out how to finish writing a series, which she's, I imagine would be fucking impossible. Yeah, she's looking through everything, trying to find some kind of abandoned new script, some kind of outline mm-hmm. to be able to get started on this book. Yeah. And Jeremy is like the perfect man, the perfect so husband, sweet. the perfect father. So the whole time I'm thinking, okay, something's really off with Jeremy. Did he do something to his wife and, you know, bring in Here was my theory. If y'all ever seen Princess Bride, yeah. um Captain Roberts or uh he's like pi- pirate rap uh, Roberts, whatever the fuck his name is. Okay. There's a story within the story that like um he basically kidnaps people onto a ship and then people think that you die by him, but really he just retires and then you become Captain Roberts. Yep, yep. And then like the, sto- the cycle like Zorro. continues. Yeah. I thought for sure he was killing women, uh, bringing them in and be Verities. like, you're Verity and now you're dead. Here's That's the next cool Verity. That's a cool storyline. Right? I was like, that would be sick, but that didn't happen. <laughs> I th- I originally thought that um, that Lowen was the problem. Same. That was my because thought, yeah. Because one, she said that she didn't like pizza. <laughs> I don't like pizza. I There's no way you don't like pizza. I, I don't choose it. That's different. That's different. She explicitly said, I don't like pizza. Yeah, that's insane. That, Nobody doesn't like that. Pizza. You want to talk about John Bacos? That's a heat seeker comment. When mm. you when you outwardly say, I, don't like, I don't like pizza, you are looking for somebody to get mad at you. <laughs> yeah. You are. Yeah. Because it's universally yeah, beloved. Yeah. And you are like looking for somebody to get angry. What if you so are Colleen gluten Hoover. free, dairy free? I don't give a shit. You can make a pizza. I also, another question is what makes a pizza? True. But that's a whole other philosophical okay. question. Fair, fair. But it's like the taco. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what's a taco? Yeah. So basically, Colleen Hoover to me is a heat seeker by putting that in there. <laughs> because and she to me that I makes like the, the term character heat seeker. Yeah, yeah I like that. Me too. It makes the character unreliable to me. 
because okay. because you are putting you are deliberately putting a piece of information that is extraneous a pizza information to anything in this story yep. this is a fucking just a random sentence in a book mm-hmm. that has no bearing on anything it's not like the guy owns a pizza place <laughs> like he just decided to order <laughs> he just decided to order pizza right it's a fun quirky fact yeah and she's like i don't like pizza and it's like you're making her unlikable. I mean, I didn't like the main character either. Yeah, she was unlikable, un to me unreliable in a lot of sense. Like clearly had mental disorder, like mental um, health issues. Like there was just a lot going on with her. And then we get to this point where like, who are we trusting here? Yes, yeah. And it's like, why am I trusting this fucking weirdo? So who doesn't like pizza? As you can <laughs> imagine, throughout her living in this house, she starts to fall for Jeremy, who is married to Verity, who's upstairs in a bed. Who so is- it gets it gets traditionally like also yeah. we haven't mentioned that she finds this manuscript for a memoir of verity's life mm-hmm. so throughout this book we're learning about verity's life through verity's eyes quote unquote we don't know if it's real or not yep. you know it could have been planted by jeremy like there's there, it's all this mystery around who is verity what is the life she lived and why is the way she is right now and and what led her to this position yep we got another book inside a book ladies book and, and gentlemen a book and a book. A so book and a book and a book. the whole book is from uh lowen's point of view right so it's her it's a it's first person her point of view and, and then, then there's, there's these chapters. chapters where she's reading the memoir and we get verity's point of view and, and Verity, verity's just as bad I verity is horrible right I can't stand her like she we, made me physically uncomfortable yeah so this memoir well, she which was, nobody like, everything you hated it a person like want like desperate for attention like didn't like children like here's my entire problem with the book lowen is an author she knows what writers write okay she picks up this thing that's titled memoir and she actually believes that this is the memoir that verity was writing when she writes explicit sex scenes nobody writes explicit sex scenes in a fucking memoir or things about those memoirs just don't exist where they're like and his dick like th- that's not a fucking that it, that wouldn't sell as a memoir people wouldn't put that on the shelf that's it just why she wouldn't didn't, uh, publish it but wouldn't you as an author reading that being like this seems a little off this doesn't seem like a real memoir plus the shit in it is fucking crazy. here's the thing not one second did she question this memoir well, i think what it was is she was trying to find a reason for her to be able to, to hate verity to hate yeah. verity to be able to get close to jeremy True. the the memoir started off with her basically being like i'm obsessed with jeremy this is how we fell in love we, i got pregnant by accident and jeremy like i didn't want to be pregnant i hate being pregnant it's changing my body jeremy loves these kids more than and me. jeremy, jeremy loves, loves them this, more than me jeremy yeah. loves these children more than i do like it's a very like jealous tumultuous like internal dialogue that that toxic. really is She's toxic like gross fuck. bad and coming f- as currently pregnant, I have a really hard time understanding how somebody would feel that way without severe mental illness. Yeah. I think you could feel that way for sure. Oh, 100 percent. But not or post traumatic or like but not, 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 everybody, not a not normal everybody's person meant yeah. to be a parent. No. And that's that's something that everyone should like that's also the this, amount this, of vitriol like hatred that she had towards these babies yeah, were yeah, yeah. that's like, i believe it though i believe there are people like that in the world that never want to be parents but through circumstance i mean end people up getting pregnant. babies please people kill I mean, their she, children yeah, she, that's well, a real she, thing she tried multiple times to abort these like her own abortion yeah attempts. so verity um talks explicitly explicitly in these memoirs about trying to abort her own children and seriously trigger warning Again, this that that yeah. is that is that is a mental illness. Yeah. So she talks about like how there's some type of depression. What I don't, I'm not a psychologist, but right. like it also goes into detail about how she managed to actually murder one of her her kids after the twin died. Okay. So her like basically what ends up happening with her manuscripts is that she convinces herself she has twins. She convinces herself that one of the twins is evil, mm-hmm. and she's convinced that this one girl is trying to kill the other girl. She has a dream that this happens. So she favors the one child more than the other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And mm-hmm. that, that, that's just like everything is based off of that. Blah, 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 whatever. At the end of the book, when she said like, let's fast forward, right. To when <sighs> you find out that she's faking it this whole fucking time, whatever. There's well, a- throughout the book, um, Lowen keeps thinking that she sees Verity like, like walking, around, walking yeah, around, which is very creepy. And I the, thought those that parts, parts were the creepiest. Those parts. parts were well written, and I actually enjoyed a lot of that. 
but go on, Erica. So we find out that she's faking it, whatever. There's a note in the flo- floorboards, whatever. Nope. She reads it. Uh, let's just skip over to the... Uh, we'll get, get to it. She'll but get back to it. Okay. She, she reads this note, and basically the note says, hey, by the way, that manuscript was the opposite. Was the opposite of what I felt at the time. Yes. Because I was doing a... a like a practice type like for her villain it was a writing for assignment her, it was a writing assignment for like villain right i took that as everything i said is the opposite of what i meant sure if that's the case then she didn't hate the one child she hated the, <laughs> the other, other child. child i don't think that's true that's not how i took it it wasn't that i took it as it was the opposite it was that she was writing it from a villainous point of view like writing I it took it as like an worst. opposite situation. It's opposite day. Interesting. Yeah. So basically what happens. So to me, I was like, no, this lady is fucking crazy. It just wasn't as crazy as what she wrote. So Lowen takes some baby monitors and puts them in Verity's room to try to prove to Jeremy that she's been faking it the entire time. It ends up happening, right? She discovers that she does walk around. She catches it on the camera. I don't know why Jeremy wouldn't have just admitted that he's like, yeah, she probably is. Because he doesn't know. But, but in the letter, he, she the girl says I that. I don't trust Jeremy either. Well, okay, so. The letter the letter said, Jeremy read my manuscript, accused me of actually feeling that way. Yeah. Which, if she wasn't favoring one of the children, why would you believe that? Right. If if that was, uh, like, it, Remind you know what me, I mean? Because I haven't, again, I haven't read so this he, again since. Ap- yeah, apparently, he reads, apparently he reads the manuscript right. one day. He finds it, he reads it, and he confronts her, and he goes, what the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. And she goes, it was a writing assignment, it's all fake, blah, blah, blah. But sh- he doesn't believe her, and then that's the car accident. Yeah, so he when I read it, a tree. when I read it, I thought he was trying to kill her. So he was. He was. But he tried to or kill her. At least from Verity's point of view, she yes. thinks, because... He turns the airbag off. So the whole reason Verity is fucked up from a car accident is because Jeremy had driven her into a tree because he found that memoir. If John found that that manuscript right now Mm -hmm. and I told him that was just a writing assignment, it's not true, he would go, okay. (laughs) (laughs) I agree. I wrote that down. So unless unless there was actual evidence evidence of her feeling that way, which... I think there was. So I think the the problem was that he, when they were in the boat, she said, hold your breath to the crew, sun. Yeah. And so in Jeremy's mind, the, all that manuscript was real because of that one little part, I think, is what the justification is. Whether you think that's a good justification or not is totally up to you, but I think that's what, what it was. Um, but I, I think we need to mention that when... Um, Jeremy discovers that she was faking it and uh, Lowen shows him the manuscript, which she doesn't even know he already read. He, they kill her for real. Like they choke Verity out and kill her for real. And Lowen's first response to to her love interest trying to murder his wife is mm-hmm. you got to make it look like an accident. <laughs> yep. Yeah. What? So now Verity's really dead. That's when Lowen discovers the note from. So does Lowen not give a fuck that Jeremy tried to kill her with the tree? Does she say that's fine because Verity tried to kill? But now she knows that that memoir is fake. But then she still so goes the, and lives with Jeremy. So yeah, like the last. And then the last po- like part of the of the book is she's pregnant. Lowen finds the 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 letter. Yeah. Reads it. It's Verity being like. Everything Jeremy's the bad yeah, yeah everything's fake Jeremy's the bad guy and Lowen rips it up yep and doesn't let Jeremy read it mm. and she's so about you, to have a baby <laughs> you're gonna live the next 50 years with a secret like well, I think, what the yeah, fuck I think it's just, is going on again Lowen is just not someone we trust anyway so I feel like she just right. goes you know what it was done is done I can't go back from what I did mm-hmm. might as well just live this out with the guy I love so the whole like fucking uh, Verity always writes her her books from the perspective of an antagonist. She's like, I always write my books from the point of vi- view of a villain. I think that was the overarching, I guess, theme or whatever for this whole thing was like, okay, now Lowen is technically the bad guy, so the rest of her books will be written from the villain. Is that not the got you moment that Colleen Hoover was trying to get this entire time? Hmm. Probably, I think so fucking lost on me oh well that was what i gathered i don't know um to me all the twists were stupid I all of these twists are <laughs> fucking stupid the only thing i liked was the suspenseful moments of when we weren't sure if calling uh, calling <laughs> if verity even yes like was non-catatonic i, I got to the end of the book and i said wait that's it 
Yeah. Me too. That's Me too. All that I was that was. I said the I texted only you words. and I said it was going to be the stupidest. Those are the only words that came into my mind. That's it. Not yeah. to mention the That's ending. Here's what pissed me off the most: is the ending is the letter from Verity. Mm-hmm. So we were just told the twist, right? The yeah. whole thing was like told, yeah. not shown. So it was like, and it was multiple, multiple pages of her explaining from the beginning to the end of everything being fake, and I was just like. I don't even fucking care anymore. Mm-hmm. Like you're just telling me these things over and over. Like it was to me, it felt like a cop out and it felt like I need to wrap this book up, but yeah. I need the twist. And this is how I'm going to give it to them. Yeah. I so didn't, I didn't, I didn't like care that. for the book. I just, I felt like it was just, man, <sighs> I was bored. How, yeah. And I don't think it's, I don't think this is a situation of, um, overhyped under delivered. I yeah. think this, I think I wouldn't have enjoyed this book to begin with. I think also I would like to say, I don't like thrillers. I don't. I don't I know, like. You've said that about a thousand times. I like times. thrillers. I don't I do like too. them. I, do too, I don't. Right? I don't like this style book. I and I will die on this fucking hill and like until the end of time. Thrillers work better as movies. But I love Stillhouse Lake. It was one of my favorite I, books. And I it was, also very much like Stillhouse Lake. Yeah. I will still like. I'm not saying that there aren't good thriller books. I'm saying they work better as movies. That's fair. They always do. I disagree. There's music. But- there's like way more elements that yeah. but if you're a good writer you can write good thrillers I'm, yeah. I'm, again i didn't say i didn't yeah. say that there aren't good thriller books out there i'm saying they work better as movies yeah more than not i don't fully agree with that but i'll let you have it i think they're hard harder to write yeah for that reason that you just mentioned probably much harder to movies write. make it a lot easier to bring suspense that, right? that's yeah that's my point it's yeah. like movies yeah they work better because movies make it easy for you yeah Movies give you the vibe with the music, with the visuals. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot for you to use your own brain and your own imagination to build up these scenes that you're reading. There is nothing more terrifying than the jerk, the jerk, the Jaws theme song, Mm -hmm. the the theme song from Psycho. Yeah. Um. Some of the theme songs from terrifying to me. (laughs) Well, no, like traditionally in history, they they are some of like the scariest, Mm -hmm. like musically like mm-hmm. no like yeah. the jaws notes those like da na yeah that you well, know it's all, that it's like, all it's based like, off of it's the creature fear in your yes because it's based off of those three notes or those four notes that come from the uh funeral march oh no oh, this is this is all a science a, a ton of films do this where they yeah the, in those moments of these big scary mm-hmm. things they're using those the undertaker's theme yeah. Same mm-hmm. thing. They're using yeah. the notes from from these death marches That's that were used yeah. s- centuries ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And to make that fear for you. So inherently everyone knows something bad's happening yep. because those specific notes are putting use together. Yeah. And also it's crescendoing, right? Yeah. Like things are building and yeah. building. So if you're if you're a really good writer, you could create that aspen- a suspense with words just by building and building mm-hmm. that suspense. It's a lot which harder I do to do. Think that Co- and I don't want to take this book away from like the people that really enjoyed it. I do think Colleen did a really good job in some moments of this book building suspense. I do think that like when the window was moving in her bedroom, when she saw her at the top of the stairs. And then she was that, gone. Yeah. That did fuck with me a little bit. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, dude. Yeah. She's at the top of the fucking yeah. stairs like i i really enjoyed some those of moments were the the best ones for me because i was totally i also i think i yeah i physically read it and i was just like oh shit what's happening yeah like, oh I no physically read it no i I, to it. I, to it. I um one other thing that i don't like i've read again i've read three of the books i think colleen hoover is careless with mental health her representation in mental health i think that's a all big three yeah. of these books are extremely extremely careless they're they're they, she uses trauma as plot devices mm. and, and it's tough it's tough. it's just like very carelessly done um there's no like nuance to it there's no any it's just very like i'm gonna make this person fucked up for the sake of of the yeah. plot to mm-hmm. move along it's because this is yeah. what i need it to do yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and it's not like like what she's talking about with this book being pregnant this was fucked up to read i was like, gonna it just, ask it was, you it really yeah. was i was like, gonna ask you that at the end of the day this even not pregnant i didn't like it at all yeah no i agree it was uncomfortable it was hard to read it was hard to read it was uncomfortable to read as a pregnant person it was uncomfortable to read as a soon-to-be mother but on top of all that it's like what the f- what the fuck is with not putting trigger warnings yeah. like yeah. i am the i am the number one person that i don't give a shit about triggers i really don't and i don't think i would have been stopped to not read this book because yeah. of a trigger warning that would have said that but she is anti-trigger warning she really? says that 
Colleen Hoover says a, really? a spoiler. That it's a spoiler. What? And it's like you can't use someone else's trauma as your spoiler alert. Yeah, and that's what? fucked up. Yeah, I've I, never heard that. I've n- it's it's a discussion that pops up a lot online. Yeah. Uh, because of these bo- of books like this that use that kind of trauma and these kind of things as wow. their twists, wow. it's like when someone uses someone who's mentally ill as the villain. Yeah, you know? like uh, it, Silent Patient, not Silent Patient. Sorry, the the one with the guy in the school. Uh, certain uh, the, the think of yes. Indian things. Yes, yes, yeah. It's like you you now villainize a, a mental illness. Or the, yes. Why are you making them the villain? One hundred percent. You know, it's like. Yep. It's it's hard in today's society too. It's just like you don't want to see that. You want to see representation the right way. Yeah. And I think the way she does it, you're right, is careless. Yeah. I hate good point. I hate her take on triggers and I don't care for trigger. I don't care about trigger warnings. Yeah. I don't read so them. So coming from you. I so think, coming yeah. from yeah, somebody who doesn't give a shit I about trigger warnings. I don't care about trigger warnings either, yeah. but I respect when those are being I, I like when they're put in books for those who need yeah. it. Because otherwise, yeah. it's like yeah. If you are somebody who has a trigger that you know you can't read books that do that have X Y Z in it, mm-hmm. you need to know it's like whether it has X Y Z in it. And also, it's it's careless on her end because you're alienating your reader from now on. Mm-hmm. You know, like mm-hmm. I won't want to pick up another one of her books if I know she does this so carelessly. Yeah, you're right. And it's disrespectful to the readers. Totally. When I look at uh, food, I always look for there's dairy in here. And I'm yeah. like, oh, I'll avoid it's that so I don't shit thing. my pants. Usually I don't avoid it. But you I'm just saying. drink yeah, dairy. <laughs> Like it is. It's very similar. Like that's not going to spoil the meal for me. I'm going to be like, oh, well, there's milk in there. And I know, know it now. <laughs> you don't know how it relates to the story either. Yeah. Right. Totally. So, for example, we have. I, me and Olivia, um, it's O Rose. We wrote a book together. Our book has patricide in it. Mm-hmm. What is that? Well, killing of a parent, death oh. of a parent. Mm-hmm. So it's like you, but you don't know you, what parent. You don't. What, know you don't who, know what parent where went. Yeah. You don't know happens, if it's active yeah. on the who page or yeah. if it's yep. yeah. But if you're really sensitive to the death of a parent, yeah, then you would not fucking pick up this book. Exactly. Or mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. would make an effort to. Maybe like try to, you know, look through the reviews or like to try to find context for it. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I'm, I'm right I don't know how you. that's a f- I don't I don't know how patricide, which is very specific. Yeah. A death yeah. of a parent or the the killing of a parent is very specific. So like it still doesn't ruin it. Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As a, a group of gals that aren't like uh, easily offended by things or, you know, like we're we're usually pretty. I can't think of one thing I wouldn't read in a book. Well, my, my whole thing is like we should always separate the author from from the work. I, I strongly believe that. I'm just shocked that uh, given how book talk is today and how the world is today, I'm shocked that Colleen hasn't been like attacked or canceled. I think a lot of people are <laughs> angry about that. I think people that. are angry. Really? I, but I think she has so many people who love her book so yeah. much. She has a lot of stands. It's yeah. it kind of stands. balances out. Okay, fair she's, enough. She's she's not she's been in the in the business so long. Yeah. She's garnered that audience so so heavily because also the vibes of her books and I wasn't reading back then, but I from discussions I've heard, it sounds like this was a very prevalent thing in like the 2010s. Oh. 20 between 2010 and 2014. Mm-hmm. These kinds of books were normal oh. with this kind of uh yeah you know just the lack darkness of, yeah. yeah the lack of just everything yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's I feel like that's that's a constant thing of like problematic mm-hmm. relationships being glorified mm. back between 2010 and and, and after now it's okay. when you know people are more vocal about these things yeah for sure i'm curious so like it ends with us is going there, there's a book two to it and so there's I'm, a movie coming. Yeah. I'm curious how they're going to, how she's going to navigate the next. I'm going to read the next book because I want to know how shitty it is. So <laughs> fair enough. Um, okay. That'll probably be my last Colleen Hoover book. I am out on Colleen Hoover. Yeah, this I is agree. Three strikes and Let you're like, I've read out. one I and I've I don't read care two. Read anymore. Right. Verity and Ugly, Ugly love. love. Was this the one that you said not to read back in the day? Yeah. Or was that? I think this is the one I said. I, you literally said read. you wouldn't recommend this. Yeah. I gave this book two stars. I gave it three just because there I were some parts. I read it so long ago, but at 2.5 at best. There were some parts that I was intrigued by. Um, the writing wasn't the best in my opinion. Um, did I hate it? No. No, I, I didn't listened hate to it. The whole I was thing. just underwhelmed. Yeah. I, have a que- I have one question going back to the actual plot. Would you have told him to read this manuscript? Like probably like day two. Oh, yes. yes. That was one of the yeah. biggest problems. Like, why are you sitting there reading yes. it? 
and not telling him this thing. I would have told him immediately. I think like, I would have exactly. like gone to the police. Yeah. Yeah. One thousand percent. I would have been you like, see listen, on the page that this woman killed her <laughs> yeah. kid. Yep. I would have been like, listen, I I get like this is fucked also, up. Also, I would have like, been like, thank you for the offer. Have a good day. I'm heading out. Yeah. I'm done. I'm not staying here. Yep. Yep. There's a lot of things I would have done. She was differently. mesmerized by his penis. I was a lot of things I would have done differently than if I was the main character of this book. Um, but that's really, that's, that's very, I'm, I'm just curious. About I would them. love to hear other people's opinions on this. Book. People love this book. This is one of I'm the so few sorry. Books. We just tore. Uh, this is probably one of you the know. worst tear ups we've ever done. I'm sorry. I don't think so. I think we've done worse. Yeah, we've definitely done worse. Uh, which one? After by oh. Anna Todd. <laughs> After we <laughs> that destroyed. That was a rage. Oh, this uh, could, Midnight I guess, Sun. I think we have to dub this a rage read. We haven't had one in a while. I said some nice things. I'm down, to, nice I am down to dub this a rage read. None honestly, of us like, I honestly, mean, I gave it three stars, though. Is that really a rage read? I listened to it. I didn't, I didn't rage through it. You listened to it very fast. The only I good thing I can say about this times. book is I wanted to get to the end because I wanted to know what happened. Mm. But, but not once in a I, good way. But once I got there, it was so un. <laughs> I have like three other <laughs> I wish endings I never that would have been way better. <laughs> yeah. I liked your idea of him g- creating new verities. Oh, yeah. I had like a That's whole fun. bunch of different ideas. I thought it was going to be more like... um. What's the fucking one? I don't know what the fucking one is. <laughs> There's a lot of things out there. Uh, Which, the Charlotte Bront book. Uh, Wuthering Heights or Jane Eyre? Jane Eyre. I love Jane Eyre. I don't compare this to I thought it was, was going to be like Jane Eyre. No, I thought, it was, I thought it was that. going to be like Jane Eyre. <laughs> like a gothic romance? Yeah. It has the vibes of it, but not in the right way. <laughs> well, maybe it is a little bit I of a rage read. Jane Eyre. Again, I mean, honestly, if you're in our Discord, uh, please, Yeah, hop in please, our Discord. Please. Hop into the romance channel and talk to us about Verity. Yes. How did you feel about it? Did you like the twists? Tell us did why we're wrong. Did you like the story? Did you like Loan as a character? Yeah. Did you like Verity as a character? Tell us why our Because, again, a lot of people do... I mean, Erica said this herself having a flawed character is is good for books thousand you know like it, you don't have to be the perfect yep. nesta thing yep forever I, but yeah. I don't know if lowen's my nesta i don't but know nobody if I can was her. redeemable <laughs> that's yeah, the no, problem the kid the kid True. was the best one but i <laughs> thought he was bad too i did too, I did too. <laughs> well because really okay. probably kids and thrillers are not usually good. no but you know because verity was you know hiding it the whole time she yeah. could have just been manipulating her kid you yes. know, like for sure little one go do this oh he, she was um all right cool thank you everybody for listening to this please go watch us on youtube and subscribe there that just look up books and betches follow us on instagram that's books underscore n underscore betches b-e-t-c-h-e-s click the link tree you'll see our patreon our tiktok our, our TikTok, discord everything. we have people on this podcast once a month on patreon you get you can get chosen to be on our podcast which is really really neat um, we have so much fun yeah thank you guys so much for listening and we'll catch you in the next one Bye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my God.